Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the broadcast. I believe it's episode 10. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm your host, Sango, with my co host, Katasama. Yes. Hello. Yes. yes. Um, lots of eventful things has happened this week. I'm sure there's a lot we can talk about, but the one thing that is on both of our minds, I'm pretty sure you can guess, is the most hyped uh, anime Allegedly. I was looking, the most hyped anime I was looking forward to, but... <laughs> but no. <laughs> yeah, so, that was just... that was, I'm really disappointed. I was waiting, and I was ex. I, my expectations were so high, but it it dis- it it didn't deliver. And uh, could you go ahead and say what it is? Yeah, so we were looking forward to this uh, battle of the gods kind of thing. It's called Record of Ragnarok. It came out on Netflix. It's actually top one in Thailand right now. So. I guess that's that. There you go. It's pretty <laughs> undeservingly. Popular. Well, it's popular for a reason, and it's it's a manga right now for sure. But watching the whole thing, I finished watching it like two days ago, and I when I first watched uh, when I watched the first episode, it was like something felt a bit off. You know, it's like I was hyped. Not the first episode, the first fight. Sorry. Yeah, something was a bit off with the actions and just how the pacing went. Because normally you would think like uh, a Netflix original anime, something like Blood of Zeus or uh, Castlevania. I'm not sure if there's animes. Um, yeah, they uh, are. I mean, go yeah. ahead and count them as. <laughs> I mean, they're advertised as anime. The by studios Netflix. are Japanese, right? I have no idea, but I don't think so. Because the originals are English. I don't know, but no, I mean the studios just like they're animating. I have no but idea, but it doesn't Regardless, matter. Regardless, yeah, yeah. So it's, these limited series are super good. So I expected uh, with an original like that, they would try to make Record of Ragnarok good as well. Unfortunately, that is not what we've got. So. First fight is actually. Should I talk about that? I'm not gonna do spoilers. Yeah, no it, spoilers. It, it it doesn't matter. It's a fight. What what can you spoil? There's nothing you can really spoil. But whoever wins or loses. Yeah, exactly. So be very very careful. Basically, uh, animation sloppy, very sloppy. It's a slideshow. Uh, sloppy as well. It's it's uh It's a slideshow. It's a freaking slideshow. I can do it. I can animate. I can put the shake effect on and pan. The best compare yeah, you can take like images and then like slide it across the screen or something, right? Yeah. yeah. The best comparison I can say is like uh The manga has piece- more movement than the freaking anime, that's what that's what. That's the-, the best like the best comparison is like when uh, you can compare it to One Piece and its pacing, where like people f- have clowned on it for ever, like because of just how slow it is. Record of yeah. Ragnarok is the same, but it's just that with One Piece, right? It's slow because they can't. It's like a running series, and people have already gotten used to. Uh, how slow it is. At least I think I've gotten used to it. I mean, I've, actually, no, no, sorry. I'm not used to it at all. I don't like it, but exactly. I, they can get away with it because of how long they've ran. But this is like a limited series. This mm. this season only has 12 episodes. Why is it so slow as to the point where one fight should maybe two episodes be, be two episodes, so but instead, it's like three to four or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just eh, you can talk more. If you want. It's just very dragged out. Scenes are dragged out. Like I was watching it, and like they t- they took half an episode on entrances. Mm-hmm. Half an episode, just walking into the ring. 
half the freaking episode. It's way too long for how short the series is. As you said, it's not a long running series. It's just a 12 episode series. And also, the reason why One Piece is has that slow ass pacing is because it's not. It's trying to make. The, I mean, give room for the manga to keep on going. But with Record of Ragnarok, I doubt they're going to be as long running, and they also have plenty of content to adapt right now. Yeah. So. They go announce like these people. Let's uh, we'll just say the first fight was like uh, Thor versus Lubu, right? Yeah. And they just keep talking about and repeating themselves. Like they go to the, they cut to the narrator Heimdall, who is just talking about Thor, and then they go to the audience, and then who talks <laughs> the same words that he just spoke, and then they go to the gods. So it'll be like narrator. Yeah, uh, like it gives you like uh, the perspectives of everybody, human audience, God's audience, and then the main God's audience. That's how ridic- uh, ridiculously slow it is. Yeah, it's stupid. Uh, it's it's just dragged out. And then, but here's the thing, you know, I wouldn't mind all that. If the fights actually delivered, you know, if they, the fights were actually good, I wouldn't mind waiting for all the stupid, useless dialogue and constant shots of the audience. Yeah, and the flashbacks, I'm pretty sure a lot of people might be annoyed with them, by them, but I actually enjoy them because, you know, their flashbacks, it gives, it gives me some background on the characters so that I can actually, you know, uh, care about them. But, like, so I could get through all that. If the fights were good, <laughs> in which in which the fights just just suck, they're lackluster, they're they're freaking slideshows, they're poor and poorly animated. It's just like, some of the shots are just like what the hell. It's like it's always fro, and then it shows the impact. I already told you this, but it's like throwing a basketball and then cutting directly to the shot where the basketball goes into the hoop. It's not satisfying at all. <laughs> yeah, like what well, you said the impact when he threw his hammer or he slammed it. For some reason, when uh, when they're about to clash, right? He shows yeah. uh, Thor and then Lubu. And then when they are about to clash, it goes to like a wide shot. And then it just yeah. shows like a beam of light shoot out. Yeah. There was no impact. I think the only impact we've like one of the only impacts I've saw was already in the trailer. <laughs> the trailer was the best part of the anime. <laughs> you say that a lot about a lot of other movies. Just take the best bits, but who knew? I thought it wasn't the trailer wasn't that good as well. It's just show <laughs> it showed highlights, but it did it did uh, what am I saying? It showed the highlights of it. Yeah, but that's all. We, that's all there was. Uh, it's just very disappointing, you know. I was, you know, I was willing to give it like a few episodes. I was like, okay, it, it wasn't that good, but maybe, maybe it'll get better later on. Which it, it didn't at all. It's overall, uh, though. I will say I have enjoyed it. Yeah, I think. But that's just the source material, isn't it? It's not no uh, the, the show. okay yeah. for but for me since i uh do you know what are you doing <laughs> you are not very hidden and anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyways what was i saying oh yeah okay so as for me coming from somebody who has stopped reading the manga midway so that I could watch it in the anime. I could I can't say I was let down, but it was still fun. Like, like the main the main parts of, the, of each fight I enjoyed every like it still gave me chills, it still gave me hype. Especially the second fight of course, like uh, with Adam's line being said. Mm. There's not much animation you need for that. It's one of those it's like Again, I'm going to go back to One Piece for comparison. It's like one of those 
it's they're not fights per se it's just like moments that have happened in the mangas or like the story right and yeah those are what that's what's memorable and you also said you told me this you said they spent most of their budget on their character designs exactly of, like the actual animation but yeah they i definitely it. did <laughs> You can see the amount of detail they put into like the character designs to getting them like actually right and making them look cool, which they all do look freaking badass, everyone. But then, and but then they just fail to actually move them, you know, like actually animate the characters. But so I stopped reading the manga uh, right before the Adam fight. But so I don't. I ha- I don't have like that you know same impact because I wouldn't know I didn't know the source material I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I can say that it was still fun just because it's freaking iconic figures versus iconic figures who wouldn't want to watch that it's like <laughs> you have Zeus versus Adam who does not want to see them fist fight to the death it's. It's just, it's just, it's not about the animation. I mean, yeah, the animation would make it so much better, but you can still have a fun time just from the idea of iconic figures going up against each other, you know? Yeah, yeah I'm a big fan of mythology, so. <laughs> exactly. Like Norse gods, Greek gods, um, like mystical creatures and uh, abnormal supernatural. It's just fun to see. And... Yeah, just having like all those cultures combine and like fight each other. Exactly. It's like yeah. who's who's gonna win this character or this character? It's like it's like that debate, you know, the well the, you know what they had back in the day, the death match we used to watch or death battle, I don't really remember. Death battle, yeah. Death battle. Yeah, it would be like Superman versus I don't know, the Hulk or something. It's just like two iconic figures that everybody knows go up against each other to see who would win in a battle to the death. And that's why it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, what was your favorite character though? Um, from the series, not the not the series. series. Brunhild, Brunhild. I don't know how to pronounce it. The Valkyrie Brunhild-y. lady. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Poseidon. He's, 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 he's so cool. cool. He's, <laughs> he's, he's so cool. Oh my god, even if I didn't come from the manga, I know if I go back to read the manga and see his, like, their fight again, he would be still be super, he'll be even more cool than what I thought in the anime. I'm 100% sure. Yeah, the last fight was the best. Yeah. I feel like, uh, okay, we can't really spoil it, but... The last fight was the best because it had impact in a way. Not animation wise, but like I don't know. No, it it, something else it, wise. Like it flipped the. Uh, yeah, it changed the tone. Story, I guess. Yeah. Mm. It's like, uh, I don't know what. How we it's can't. Like, you can't say it. Otherwise, you're gonna spoil it. <laughs> yeah. Just, just watch it. It's not that long. Just. Yeah, I watched it in the day. Mind. You watched it in a day. I can't. I could like watch half of that episode. Well, it was it was, it was like break. right after I f- finished my um, my last video, and then and then it came out. I was like, oh, I'll just watch this now. Oh, because my when I when I was working on that video, I did not watch any anime at all. I was just focused on that video, and then like I just watch little things because when I. When I, I try to, like, when I'm working on a video, I kind of just, like, try not to watch other anime so that I can, like, kind of focus mm. on the video. And then, yeah. So, yeah, it was perfect timing. And then I watched it in a day, and I was completely disappointed. Still fun, though. Speaking of animation, I watched the... I didn't watch the episode, but I watched the fight in Bordo. It's finally come to, like, it's getting really serious i'm always had i had this like off and on relationship <laughs> you have this love and hate relationship <laughs> yeah yeah but now it's like 
if you want to go watch something where it has like consist not consistent animation but when they do animation it's freaking good so it was a it's Jigen that team versus, is just freaking that team is just really really good it's Jigen versus naruto and sasuke like that just they maybe not their best work but it's like you have to appreciate it that animation i want i wanted to see in record of ragnarok that's for sure just like uh just any their, you can yeah. pick like one of the good studios. Your foldable, uh, Mappa. Oh, what's what would be your like uh, top five? I can't say anything because I don't know any idea. I can only <laughs> I say it by know. like series. I would say um, top five. There would probably be um, there's your foldable, of course, and Mappa, which Mappa has been really doing well right now. Um, Bones. Can you name like some examples? So I'm, okay, like, I'm so so like you foldable. Who? What did they Demon do? Slayer? Uh, most of the fate stuff, basically. So their fights are really. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. like top one for me. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Stay fate, all right. Yep. And then Mappa is the one that did Jujutsu Kaisen and like God of High School. Oh. Oh, that. So I thought have, it was fine. They have good animation. It's, it's they good. have good animation, yeah. So uh, they like... Sorry, yeah, you go. Yeah, okay. So I think Studio Bones did Mob Psycho. They did Mob so, Psycho? I think. It's, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. They did Mob Psycho. I think and like they, Fire Force as well. I thought that's the same studio that did One Punch Man did uh, Mob. So, I don't think so. I don't think Madhouse did. Yeah, I don't think they did Mob Psycho. Okay. I know so, Madhouse did And then there's Madhouse. <laughs> I don't know about Madhouse though. Madhouse, there's One Punch Man, I guess. But that's... One Punch Man was like not by the studio almost. More like it was by a bunch of freelance animators. You're Basically, saying One Punch Man was animated by a bunch of freelancers. I think that's because pretty that Mad, Well, yeah, but Madhouse like in, hired some freelance, you know, not like actual. They're you know they're full time workers. Mm-hmm. They like went out and then got some freelance. I'm pretty sure. I I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I, that's what I think happened. <laughs> okay, so there's Madhouse and then. <laughs> Do I know any other good studios? Uh, no, I don't know. I can't think of, of the top of my head. Oh wait, there's Trigger. But there's no way Trigger would have picked this up. Cause Trigger like has their own style. They don't really, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they would pick this. You know what Trigger is, right? Video trigger, yeah, the one that did Killer Kill. Kill. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't ask me like what they did because I don't. I only see like their title card like during the opening, and I skip that. So you know what they did, Killer Kill. You know that you watched that. I watched that, sure. but I didn't look at the studio. Oh, well, yeah. There's that. See, five studios, but I probably picked you for the ball because they're just. Too good. <laughs> They're too good. No, it's like when you say fate, because people have said already, it's like there's this is a studio that has no budget. They can do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just gonna look so good. Oh wait, the studio wit. That's that was that's also good. They did um Attack on Titan the first like seasons before Mob. Uh, Mappa. I would actually think the fourth is better than one and two. Hmm. From actually, maybe no, 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 not two. Maybe one, and then if I was. I don't really idea, remember at all. One was kind of strokey, kind so to speak, like big, like thick strokes. Uh, hmm. More the rest more of like, them. It's know? more like. Uh, how do I see it? It's more like uh, solid colored, not as yeah. natural as before. So the line, I mean, yeah, the line art is exactly. very 
Dick. Yeah, 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 something like that. Okay. But I mean, come on, give it, give it, cut them some slack. I mean, <laughs> like, Mamba had so much time to develop. Like, when did the first season of Attack on Titan come out? What, 2013? Damn, we've been watching Attack on Titan for. I don't think we've watched it when it came out because I, I definitely wasn't into That's... anime. Oh, back yeah, then. yeah, 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 you're right. We I only watched... watched it because it was the popular anime. Everyone knew, you know, like, even the people who didn't watch anime. And yeah, it was my first anime because, of course, it was. <laughs> it's not your first. It was. It was definitely. Yeah, because I didn't know any other titles. Mm. I it... watched anime in 2016. So, and the first one. It's not the first one, Katana. I'm gonna go back to you on this, but it is One Piece. Hmm. I'm still watching that. It's still my favorite. Sag, you're not gonna say freaking Doramon. Doramon is not my first Let's anime. Talk. Don't Let's go back. Even to... don't even... Okay, okay. Let's wind back to clock. <laughs> we've had a technically we've had a resurgence in watching anime. So the first don't, anime we've don't actually even, watched don't, was probably in two thousand seven. We did not know when it's like on those Thai story. public TV show TV channels. Like public domain. Doramon was on there. It was Thai dubbed, and we watched it all the time. We don't know. We didn't know what we were watching. We're kids. It doesn't matter, Kata. It matters. You it matters. You have it. to. It, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. And of course, I know it. But I, we've actually spent money watching this. We didn't know what it was, though. We went well. to the movies. We know it was Doraemon. We didn't know it was anime. We just thought, oh, no, cartoon. Hoo hoo, fun. Yeah, but you still watched it. Doesn't mean like, oh, because it's we don't know if it's anime. It's we didn't watch anime. It doesn't count as the first anime if we we didn't know what we were watching. How? What? How does that make any sense? It's like if you're gonna <laughs> say, care, care, let's say if you watch SpongeBob fine, first, fine, and you'd be like, fine, oh, fine. Yellow fine. Square. I've is seen the first eight. anime I knowingly watched. Like knowingly that it was. And I'm knowing that it was actually an anime. This is anime. I'm watching an anime right now. Okay, Doramon. I just thought it was a cartoon. That's like I, I would literally watch anything. It doesn't really matter. I would watch anything. Saying, and you're, think it's playing, good. you're playing games on your laptop, but you didn't know what it is. You just called it big screen. And then at 15, oh, I finally. That's when I first played on the computer, knowingly, what it is. Yeah. No. Yes. You play on a computer when it, when you called it big screen, okay? Nah. Attack on Titan is my first anime, period. I don't care. Doramon can go, can go shove his pouch into his pouch. <laughs> Doramon will beat every single character in Attack on Titan. I don't care. Well, he has like <laughs> cannons <laughs> for hands. Time travel, he can like transform people. He's like a f the future cat. What you got in Attack on Titan? Freaking harpoons. Well, why are you shitting on Attack on Titan? People. I never said that. <laughs> I like what well, Attack on Titan beats Dormon. I don't why what brought this up. Well, I mean, Dormon does beat Attack on Titan. Yeah. Like, if we're gonna compare popularity. Don't Man. say that's just not fair. That's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Whatever. Dormon. Moving on. Attack on Titan was my first anime. Period. I don't care. Dormon was you know, number, I... number zero there. I thought you actually watched Naruto as your first one. No, I wasn't Naruto. I watched that after. So you recommended Attack on Titan to me? Or did I watch? Maybe you just watched it on your own. Because you definitely watched anime before I did. Like, knowingly. <laughs> Besides Doraemon. So, oh my god. I watched anime before you. That's so Yeah, weird. I remember because I, I saw I... you. I was like, what are you doing? Watching anime? Oh my god. 
<laughs> now nah, look at us. I watch whenever I can. I'm only actually watching like uh, two shows at once, and then I'm watching other things. Hmm. You kind of have to, though, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, like, but I mean, I enjoy it so. <laughs> Do what two day in that, and oh, where's... sorry. What was your first anime? One Piece, or yeah, it was One Piece. Hmm. Did you like finish it, or did you watch like multiple at a at a time? It's like when I first started, I knew One Piece was super long, but. It was one of those popular ones, yeah, Big Free or something, right? Yeah. And then, if I'm gonna start watching anime, might as well be this one. So I endured very long. You know the journey of like catching up to One Piece. Yeah. I went. That was like when I first started. That was probably during like the Dress Rosa arc or something. Holy fuck! <laughs> that is so long ago. Yeah. Damn. Hey, best arc. Best arc is not just Rosa. <laughs> For me, it was. If I'm going, actually, no, it still is right now. <laughs> if I'm going, if I was to list, oh, here. If I was to list the top arcs, what I'd say right now, I would say one would be Sabayori. Two would be i'm not gonna say wano yet because it's not finished two mm. would be marine ford three would be dress rosa no sorry three would be when they uh water the water seven arc ah uh. four would be dress rosa five would be skypea it's just up there because of NL. that's it <laughs> then six. Damn, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Arlongs? That's way too. Yeah, I'll just leave it at there. The worst one, though, would probably be. What's the worst one? What is the worst one? Foxy. That's not an arc. That's kind of just like a. It's an arc. <laughs> Is it an arc? I don't know. You said it's not filler. If it's not filler, it's an arc for sure. Okay, then yeah, Foxy. Yeah. Well, it's not filler. They got away with that somehow. <laughs> it's freaking filler. <laughs> I count it as filler. I don't care. No, they go stop in the island. So. And if it's in the manga, then mm. <laughs> luck. Nah, I just think just Rosa is the best one for me. Why? What, just because of Gear 4? <laughs> I didn't know you were into, like, superpoweredness. Well, it was, it was cool. And also, um, what's his name? Joe Flamingo is also, like, cool. Oh my god, I totally forgot about... Uh... What, Crocodile? Yeah. What's that arc called? Oh, what was it called? <laughs> Alabasta arc. There we go. Uh, yeah. That is all. That should be in top five. I'm gonna replace that. Dress Rosa. <laughs> Actually, no. Dress Rosa is better, but I like Crocodile more over the Flamingo. Hmm. Like top five villains would be Crocodile at one. And I need to slow down. Hold on. Oh, Katakuri at two. Katakuri one. The Flamingo at three. Um. Kai, no, not Kaido. No, that was what else? Rob Lucci at four. And then. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, uh, Akainu, I thought. Who? Akainu? Akainu? Yeah. 
Oh wait, what's... Is it the, the ice guy? <laughs> or is it the, the light guy? <laughs> I forgot! Why would you choose two of them that aren't him? Oh, oh the, the lava guy? The bad guy in the marines, you know. <laughs> How PG is it even okay. bad? They, they sound the same, okay? I just... When I hear that name, I'm just like, it's one of the admirals. Fine, should I say like Sa <laughs> Saka Sakazuki? Yeah, 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 yeah better. What career? I oh. couldn't pick bad guys because I don't really remember, honestly. What? I can't, remember, remember. Like, I can't remember from the top of my head. It would probably be like Katakuri and then... No flamingo. <laughs> you it. remember by like their devil fruits. That's how you can like detect what name they have. And they're super good laughs for some reason. Like, no, I, I just know him. Katakuri is a badass. That's why I remember him. Uh, well, yeah, he should have won. Yeah, won. then No flamingo is just cool, crazy, cynical. I don't know. Yeah, I just remember him. And then, yeah, that's it. You can really... remember them by their devil fruits or their laughs. Because most of the time, their laughs somehow relate to the name of the devil fruit. I don't For know example, the names white of the beard. I don't know the white names beards, of yeah. any devil fruit, but, but Luffy's. You don't even know kind of Curry's one, Kada? I don't know the mochi, but I, I don't know what. Yeah, it's the mochi, called. mochi, no me. That's it. Well, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, white Bear's one was the gura gura no me, which you can tell because he laughs like gura ra 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 gura ra ra. Laughs so stupid. I remember annoying you with uh, Gecko Moria's one. <laughs> yes, say. <laughs> Now you just like say as a meme now you're like she <laughs> uh oh yeah their laughs are I don't know they're not really memorable I guess but they are I don't really remember remember them but I do remember them when I hear them I guess I uh, like Caesar clowns one was like uh she ro 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 Mm. You can tell because it was been like that. Yeah. Who thought of it? Like, oh, let's just let let's just voice their laughs as their devil fruits, or was it just part of the manga? No, some of them are different. Not like the same name as their devil fruits. It's just like they have a like a uh, Blackbeard's one is Zay ha ha ha. Hmm. But his devil fruit is yummy. So it's not gonna be like, yummy, me, 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 me. Well, whatever. Whoever thought of it, I don't know why or what, what's the point, but I guess it's good. I mean, One Piece do be like that. I mean, they're freaking, what, their bodies are all like freaking disproportionate, and some of them are giant, some of them are little people. And Well, you know what I don't get is. Um, there are theories as to where like Blackbeard got his two double fruits, how he got them. He said his body is weird and special, like a disproportionate. Bro, mm. you can look like it. Look at freaking <laughs> all the characters. Look yeah. at Big Mom. She's a human. How the hell is she a human? <laughs> and, and yeah. Yeah, some of, some well. of these like guys with their wives as well, you know, like quite recently Odin and his wife are like, how the hell did he manage to fit? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? I mean, you don't know how big it actually is. This dude is small. huge. This dude is huge, man. And his wife is like, he may be big, but it's like right size for her. There, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, they're just, they're just, they have weird bodies and stuff. It's not a bad thing, though. It's, it's better than thing. a lot of anime because a lot of anime is just to freaking copy paste everyone. 
Um, and I, you can agree that that One Piece copy pastes its girls. <sighs> yeah, like, exception guess. being like Big Mom and Alvita when she was fat. But other than that, it's pretty much like. Yeah, the pretty girls all look the same, I guess. Yeah, same like uh, hourglass figure. Like, look at. Yeah, like, like you said, look at Odin's wife, and then look at Nami, and then look at Hiyori, look at Robin. <laughs> yeah. I guess, like, Hancock's a bit different because she has a bigger forehead, but then that's it. And then you got, like, Shira Hushi, who has, like, fish body, but same face. Vivi, same. Yeah, Vivi. everyone's just the same. Just, just all like, the pretty girls. What's there, Rebecca? What's weird is we we can still tell. Just like very different, like slight variations in skin color and then drastic change in hair color. That's just because it's anime. We watched enough anime to be able to tell. Oh yeah, it's her. Yeah. It's just like, it's just their design. It's kind of like when I was watching the quintessential quintuplets and you came in and you're like... Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, all the you, same. They're all the same, but you you can tell who, which one is who because of their stuff, their hair and voice. You just pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> what did I start watching? I think I started around the same <coughs> time as you, but not but a bit later. <coughs> what made you want to watch though? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I actually don't actually. remember myself. I probably just was bored and wanted to watch something and then I just went, oh, why don't I try anime? I think it's because anime was getting popular. And then I just decided to try it and then I did. And then it birthed me. The person I am today. Apparently I like one of the first videos that were ever posted to YouTube were AMVs. So like those music videos, but with the like but of anime scenes. Those are like the very earliest mm. forms of me media on YouTube besides like the Zoom or something. <laughs> like uh, you you know right? You I've watched like AMVs that are like in two thousand seven. Yeah. Like going back to watch like highlights from One Piece or something. Mm. I don't really watch them, but I know they're old. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I like those like uh transition ones though. So. You think I like yeah. copy, you think oh, they copy yeah. each other though? <laughs> but I have, like a like Disney used to like use the same assets to create like their old cartoon movies so you'll see like uh two entities dancing and then in the in another movie it's the same thing but it's just with their characters instead so i'm mm. thinking like maybe they just use like the same 3d model and it edited i mean animated it around that mm. could be like what same studio thing yeah what I see a lot of now nowadays is like people like to, what do you call it? They like to live anime. I don't really know what it's called. You know how live wallpapers look and stuff like that. No, I'm not really that interested. In. Like what they do really is they like, I don't know. Did they make a still image able to move? Kind of. You know, say you have a still image and then they do something to make it like have a bit of movement. Maybe the hair is flowing or something or the eyes are blinking, stuff like that. I've seen a lot of those videos uh, where people just do that. They take scenes from like manga and stuff and then they just live animate it, live animate it or whatever, they're, whatever that's called. And then they add some music and they do the same transition over and over. It's, it's the same kind of zoom shake. Okay. Actually, they do that with even uh, animation. So, like, even animated uh, anime. So, like, maybe get a scene from Naruto. They do the same zoom shake transition over and over again, uh, synced with the beat. And, yeah, 
There's a lot of those. <laughs> Pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. I think it's cool, though. I think it's cool, but, but the transitions are, are a bit repetitive. <laughs> Like it's they did, hard to do that. Uh, they just use one transition though. It's like, yeah, I know. Just have you tried doing that? It's kind. Nah. It's like, but some you of know them are, how. Now you first. Okay, some of them are really good. Like, okay, I, I'll admit, some of them are really damn good. Some of them, people like make their own graphics and stuff. So like, it's there. It's basically a freaking music video. With uh, these still manga pictures, and it's really cool actually. But they still use the same transition, but honestly, w whatever, who cares? It's cool. Yeah, I was gonna talk about like, you know, uh, like anime edits are what influenced uh, most of the like uh, old Goda.io videos. And oh. Agario. They use like the same. Maybe uh, just gaming in general. I guess, yeah, for sure. I mean, maybe like going back to like, uh, I mean, I wasn't there, but like COD montages and stuff like that. Yeah. MLG stuff. Uh, MLG. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But anime, uh, going off of AMVs, anime music videos, like professional ones, are really damn good. Like, extremely, like professional music videos. So, kind of like, you know, Shelter? From Porter uh, Robinson? Yeah. Stuff I like that. I don't, I don't remember, but I just. Well, anyway, just stuff like that. A lot of anime music videos I've watched, just their animation is so good. It's so goddamn good. Like, <sighs> there's just a different level of quality you get from these music videos than if you were to get from uh, an anime, like a show or a movie. Maybe you could get in a movie though, but like these music videos are just too good. They're based, some of them even like serve as uh, trailers. For movies like the song like the, maybe they're using a song and oh wait you know an artist is making a song for this movie and so they basically just use make the music video for that song a uh, uh, the trailer or something kind of like that yeah they're just nice and see I forgot what I was going to say now, but <laughs> there's a good cutaway to this anime movies. Yeah, I yeah. think we've we've only like if we were talking about movies that we went to the cinema for. <laughs> Zoroman, <laughs> we watched like a few of them for sure. Freaking that, you know that one that still traumatizes me. It's like that Mayan temple with a witch. That I don't was... remember. I don't remember. For me, I don't remember what it's called, but I just remember one scene where, like, this witch was walking down. She was like bloody, and I remember like this is supposed to be for thirteen and up. Then again, anime age ratings <laughs> are a bit off. I think it's a bit different in America. It's like if it's thirteen, it's fine. There's like soft porn blood, so it's fine. And but mm. yeah that was like scary and then it was just like uh slow walking the animation was kind of popular i guess kind of just to make it slow down and kind of slow down the time and moment and uh. yeah i still remember that even though i don't remember like what movie it was but yeah other than that there was a time travel one Saying, believe me, we did not know why we're watching it. We just we don't know what was going on. We're just like, ooh, I cartoons, yeah. cartoons. No, it's basically there's a problem, and then Dormont gives him a super cool gadget to fix. Uh, and then Nobita, for me, it was like, just abuses, cartoons. Abuses that gadget and then takes it back. That's it. And Dormont likes Doriaki and is scared of rats. 
and there's that How do you yellow remember to this? and there's that yellow one named Dorami, which is like yeah you know Dormon has no ears and he's a robot cat he got them cut off for, i forgot how and he what? comes to future as well how I do you know. know this of course i know I all it. i know he can put on stuff anything from his pouch and then just this desk that they use to time travel and yeah like he's from the future I only know that. That's a. Hey, I only know he uses a desk to travel around. I don't know the other like supporting characters. I only know like Nobita, like name, and then his girlfriend, mm. and then those two boys, the fat guy and the scrawny and the, guy. Yeah, and then sometimes there's this like handsome kid, where like the girl is simping over, and then Nobita gets mad every time. Yeah, see, I remember, I Kada. I don't remember anything. That's you. That's all you. But yeah, it's going back to like anime movies. What anime have movies. I watched? I've I've said before. You haven't watched any of the major ones. Actually, no, you have. Spirited Away, of course. Anything like mainstream? <laughs> Spirited Away, I was. You definitely. I don't know. I was it. like, I don't remember if I was paying attention, but I just remember like the parents. Spoilers from here on out, but to be fair, but you should have watched this yeah. from the beginning. You should watch this already if you're like anime or like into any stories. Like Spirit Away, I think won an Oscar, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I think it did. They won, it it won well. something. It won something. It won our hearts. Anyways, <laughs> parents turned into pigs. Then she had to work to be free, I guess. And they're like ghosts. And then there's this big muddy thing in the in the bath, and then there's mm. this like cool guy, and then there's this dragon that got injured. Uh, Are they the same, dude? I think they're the same. <laughs> yeah, there's two witches actually, and then there's this spider guy who was chucking coal, and they're yeah, yeah, good movie. Don't listen. Don't to really review. remember it. <laughs> I, I think the parents, I don't know, they were greedy or something. And they ate some food that they weren't supposed to, and then that's why they turned into pigs. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So. And then the daughter. Yeah, I don't really remember, honestly. It's only like you remember the very special moments, like uh, the ghost with. Uh, I don't know, actually. No Just face. Is, yeah. That's I don't get name. what's the hype of that thing. I don't get it. It's just another. <laughs> it's just a little black thing with a mask. Yeah. Mm. But you haven't watched like any of the other major anime movies. Anime movies aren't really mainstream, I think. I mean, they're in theaters, I guess. Actually, no. Yeah, I could be wrong. No, sorry. They're they're definitely getting mainstream. Demon Slayer's freaking mainstream as fuck. De I don't. I have Demon Slayer no, no. is absolutely has absolutely exploded out of proportion, and I have no idea why. Honestly, it's way too popular than it deserves. Um, I like the animation a lot, and there's just one store which I like with the white kid and the eyes, mm. but. Mm. It's, I just think it's like a hero academia, but with samurai. <laughs> I think, like, it's way too big. It's extremely, it's like, like, One Piece Naruto level big, or even bigger. No, they got higher than One Piece at one point. Hmm. Like, they're extremely big, I'm pretty sure they're... Their movie was the highest grossing in Japan, like ever. The highest m grossing movie ever. The highest grossing movie. You're in saying Japan. like Japanese movies, like Pretty all the sure. movies. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. You you want to talk about how good it is? It's good, but not that good. <laughs> I still don't think I'm gonna watch it. Did you watch the movie? No, I didn't. I didn't watch it. Yet. Start of time. 
doesn't look as interesting. I just think there's like vampires on the train. It's kind of like I think it's just playing. like a solid anime, but like, is it as good as as this level of popularity? I don't think so. It's definitely in my top ten, but it's gonna be like my lower part of that. Mm -hmm. Like it's so big that you get like even here you see the shitty prints on these shitty materials if at the gonna, market yeah you know? yeah yeah if you're gonna get cosplay do not get that please yeah that's how big it is that the knockoff like freaking vendors are starting to sell it that's how freaking that's how you know an anime is big what would be okay would be like the uh attack on titan uniforms that i know i saw a few of them as well but that's like solid colors with demon slayer uh demon slayer right it's they're mimicking silk but it's not real silk or something. And it's basically it like a bad. like a sports clothes material kind of. And yeah, it's... yeah, it looks like knockoff sports clothes. Yeah, and it's like PJs. It's, just like... <laughs> it's basically stuff you buy for your little kids who don't know any better. Yeah, you're putting a freaking cloth on your shoulders. Um, don't feel proud. Don't feel proud. It's not good. But I did. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I did cry at that at that part actually. <laughs> what? So, going back to last episode, we were talking. Were we talking about crying? I don't remember. No, not last episode. That was like a few days ago when we we're just in a call. And I just. Oh, asked uh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about uh, like what what movies or series made you cry. Um, I was like, I just said like pretty much everything almost like every day i go on instagram i see a post like of some baby or like some pet getting rescued and i get teary-eyed but i don't actually like like cry uh, but what i'm saying is right now like i did cry when they're talking about the story of uh that kid that wanted uh, his own family or something but then he died. Mm -hmm. you know you know what i'm talking about like the best yeah. i don't know if it, you think it's the best part but I think it's the best part is when uh, you're climbing a mountain and that family of white bat what spiders. are they vampires they're like spider demons. no I mean what are they demons sorry <laughs> I just asked what the hell are it's they demon slayer. <laughs> the series is demon slayer all right yeah yeah I'm good slayer. uh yeah I cried at that hey but uh, we are just opposite in like skin tone and personality <laughs> and uh, other things but yeah i cry almost not all i'm not like sent i actually no let me get it straight i i am sensitive i'm definitely sensitive uh but i don't like ball cry get like happy oh that's so nice uh and then i have like my eyes get like watery, but nothing actually falls down. Mm -hmm. But if, like, if I rub my eye, then yeah, maybe it too. Yeah. Well, you, I don't get you. You just don't have. I don't know, you man. Know? I see sad and I feel sad, but nothing comes out. It's just I sad now and I think about it. But like, I guess, it. like, at the same time, like, you can be really happy and then not cry. So. Hmm. Makes sense. I mean, I asked you that question because I want. I'm pretty sure because I like quite recently watched one movie, which is movie? Pr it's pretty good. Uh, the Made in Abyss movie. Oh, where you just posted? Yeah. On Instagram. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Her hands look a bit weird. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I hate drawing hands. I, I can't. <laughs> Back to you though. Anyways, that movie was so... You should just watch Made in the Abyss. So there's like the series, which is like 12 episodes, and then there's the movie. Then now I think the rest is going to be done in movies. Uh, uh, we'll see. Is it on Netflix? That's all I care about? No. Then, yeah, tough luck. <laughs> But it's so good, so you don't understand. That movie was so goddamn good. Even the series is also so goddamn good. Mm. You don't understand. 
It's like, it's so good. What, 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 what is it about? It's like, it's like, I think it's about, so, so there's this abyss. It's like this world and there's this giant uh, pit that goes down. And there's a bunch of like cool stuff in this pit, like all kinds of stuff. There's creatures, there's dangerous creatures, there's, I don't know, not so dangerous creatures. Are there's, you like progressing downward into this pit? Yeah. They're progressing downward. Um, Basically, the more down you go, the more dangerous it gets. Why are they going down? She is going down because her mother went down, went down there, and I think she never came back up. And now she's going. To... <laughs> but she she still believes that her mom is alive, so she's going to look for her mom in the abyss. Basically, it's really good. Like it's it's an isekai, but not an isekai because there's no people dying and getting reincarnated. But it's like another world kind of thing. So yeah, they go down, and it it's it could be really gruesome and dark. Like it gets really gruesome and dark. I mean, like if you think it's this is just some little kitty anime where little kids are going down to this pit exploring things, that then no, uh, it's it's not Baby. that. Yeah, there's other cool characters that come up. I won't say because spoilers. But anyways, it it like it can get gruesome, like really gruesome, but like gruesome to the point, like you know what? Uh, um, how do you say it? You know that it like uh, like uh, spoilers for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. You know oh, that, that was so bad. The dog, so bad. With the, the daughter. Yeah, it can get gruesome like that, and even worse. Is it like Goblin Slayer first episode? No, it gets, it's a different kind of gruesome. But it's like really gruesome. Or is it like freaking re Redo of Healer? It's kind of... No, Redo had like lack of impact. Redo of Healer was kind of this edgy guy goes around doing stupid shit. But I'm pretty sure there's plenty <laughs> of impact. In that no, there's no impact because it's just... <laughs> There's like there's no calling for it. There's no suspense. It's just like oh we know what he's gonna do. You know another pretty girl shows up. Well we know what's gonna happen. And like there's this one episode when he was like I don't know yeah going to um, freak oh uh, yeah so basically the kingdom kidnapped some villagers or something because they wanted to get the guy the redo guy I don't even know his name. The, the main guy, they wanted the main guy to come to them because he, he did something. I think he, like, oh yeah, he raped the princess. <laughs> and they think he killed the princess. Oh, so I'm they want. So they kidnapped. <laughs> they kidnapped his village, basically, so that they could get him to come out, you know, turn himself in. Mm -hmm. So what he does. This is so stupid. Like, this is just an edge fest. What he does, he, sh he shows up, and he just like, and then they're like, oh, we're gonna kill the villagers, you better not do anything. And then he's like, oh, go ahead, kill them. And then they, and then basically, he's basically letting the villagers die. The, the villagers are getting killed, and he doesn't really care. He's, he's gonna, he's going to save them. He's, like he's he's still going making his way over to save them but they're killing the villagers and he's just like whatever I'll, i'm going to save them right now <laughs> so he's like not actually saving them and he's just like why what is this cool just like oh guess what i'm not gonna save the villagers some of them can die and that's good because death is what makes anime good and no I it's just it's so it's so bad. It's so bad. It's one of those like root failed uh, subversions. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. There's like, oh. Like, the... I'm not gonna do what you expect. They're gonna die. Oh, so edgy. So cool. Letting the villagers die. Oh my god. You think, like, uh, what people said about this is uh, correct? What? Like, I don't know, I just heard like ab like abuse and Yeah, like... I watched it. Do you like it? <laughs> it's boring. Oh. It it's basically you want if you're gonna have any reason to watch it, it would 
probably be for the fucking. I'm guessing for the. <laughs> I was gonna say fan service. But... Yeah, yeah, it's I just. Yeah, as well. <laughs> I mean, it's it's basically a hentai. It's even on hentai sites. Yeah, but it's not. Apparently. It's not because it doesn't show dick and vagina. It is, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, to... going yeah, back yeah. to Made in Abyss, it can get really gruesome and dark, but like there's a reason for it, and it's just very, I don't know, immersive. The world is really good. The music is especially good. Like the music is amazing good. It's better not be in an isekai, you know. It's not an isekai. It's not an isekai. It's a whole other world. In the pit. I mean, it is another world, basically. Yeah. But it's really good, so you should watch it. Okay. Oh. How about other movies? You didn't watch uh, Your Name. No. I don't know why. Because why have it? Lame. Oh, snap. No, it's not. No, it's not. I think it's just one of those like movies where I think it's really sad and people would watch it because they're sad. And no. I don't No, it's not a melodrama. I see why it could be sad, but it's not a sad movie, if you get what I mean. And why is it good if it's not sad? It's. It's a good sci-fi kind of movie. Like you don't, if you haven't read the synopsis, I don't think you would really think it would go in the direction that it did. But, anyways, it did. <laughs> so I think it's based. It's very confusing to explain, actually. Sci-fi. It's 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 some kind of time thing, and also like it's very hard to explain. But it's really good. You should watch it. I just see like um, the guy and a girl upside down or something. Hmm. So that... I think okay, I think it's like it has some time mind freakery. So it's like I think the girl is like part of, is lives in this village in the country, right? Mm -hmm. And this guy is someone who lives in the city, and they're connected somehow, like by some force or whatever. So like. At times, they could like switch bodies, so like their personality, no, no, not personalities, they're like souls, I guess, would switch. So the guy would be in the girl's body, and now the girl will be in, in the guy's body, you know? So yeah, like sometimes they would just switch like that, and then some, and then they would like take notes, say, write notes to each other and stuff to see like what they did and stuff, so that they could keep up. Like with their normal lives. Because the people around them don't know they switch bodies, right? Yeah. Say <laughs> hello. A bit lost, but... Okay. So, do you know body switching? Did, like if yeah, I switched with... Wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna say, they switch bodies and then they're writing notes because they want to keep track of people's lives. They want to keep track of what they're doing because if... I, look, say I switch to your body. Okay, but I still have to live out your life. So it's you have to work. write you yeah, I so I have to write out what I did in your body so that you can kind of you know. Oh that's gonna suck so much in editing. <laughs> like what the hell did you do to my timeline when I was gone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they do that and then eventually they start ha uh, having feelings for each other and stuff. And then, how you, wait, 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 how do you even do that? You, by the notes they wrote, there's like banner in the notes. Oh, I by the notes and probably by just like living their lives as them. But how would we, they get their personality out? That I mean, I don't know the people around them and stuff. Whatever, just just whatever, whatever. So I think I'm so. Like they they decide to like meet up with each other. Because I it was other worlds. It's not other worlds. They're in the same world, but they switch bodies. No. Oh. Okay, so, so they. What they I... did... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So, okay, I... so they want to meet up now. So now they want to meet up. And so. I think. 
Are you telling me too much? I, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Oh, must be that bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but then, like, so like the guy goes to like okay, so the guy goes to search up her place, right? Like where she lives in the country, mm-hmm. and it turns out that her the place that where she lives or that country or whatever. No, not country. Um, what you call it? It's freaking town or whatever. Because they're both in Japan. Village. That yeah, village or whatever town. That that town has been like destroyed like three years ago or something by uh uh what's I called? really feel like you're telling me too much. By <laughs> this is the synopsis. <laughs> no, I feel like you can't you can't um what you say what do you call it uh summarize this without or like hook somebody on this without spoiling a little bit because you have to go in deep so basically this place has been destroyed like a few years ago by a comet that crashed into it and everyone died in that so everyone in this village is supposed to be dead so it's like who the frick is he talking to you know in the, oh, so he's like in the past. No, he's in the present, and he, but he's talking to someone who was, was from that the past. Huh? Yeah, I know it's some time. See, this is what you you just watch it. Okay, I can't. Sci-fi is hard to explain, honestly. <laughs> I mean, sci-fi like this is hard to explain. Just think like. Just dark, stuff that man. involves time is just like, oh my god. Dark is freaking scary. Mm. Never did, watched it. Did you watch it? It's no. like, just think better Stranger Things and then, yeah, there you go. Better Stranger Things. <laughs> what? Yeah. Better Stranger Things. Hmm. I know Which has I sci-fi still stuff. go on record to say I am never going to watch that season. Hmm. Anyway, Kimi no Nawa is good. It's not like a sad movie, but I can see why it's sad because it has some kind of that moment, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. What other movies that you haven't watched? You haven't watched a lot of good movies. You haven't watched, watched any of the mainstream yeah. anime movies. Like, Spirit Away is one. Anything from that studio, I've watched a few. Like, uh... Actually, no, I don't think I've watched. I don't think I watched them in full. At all. Mm. I think I watched, like, when Tito watched the, uh, Poyo, the fish. Ah. Uh. Then that's it. From that studio. I've only watched, like, movies of series that I've been watching. Except Demon Slayer. So like One okay. Piece, Naruto, um, yeah, it's kind of it. Mm. Are those even like canon? No, no, they're like separate thing. Mm. I guess like, like some of them could be. Like, like uh, anime. Oh, go on. Uh, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, One Piece. What's that guy? What's that movie? Z. One Piece Z or something? Film Z? Is, is it Film Z? I thought Film Gold had that title. But yeah, Film Z or whatever. Like, wasn't it Heart of Gold? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. That is one of them that could type the story. But other than that, it's like its own thing. Hmm. Yeah, what are you going to say? I feel like anime nowadays are starting to make movies that are actually canon. Mm. I feel like it's getting more popular. I think the only one is Demon Slayer. There's Demon Slayer. Jujutsu is about to release another movie. Um, No, not another movie. A movie that is probably going to be canon. I'm going to watch that. Yeah. Uh, The Made in Abyss movie was canon. Uh... That's all I know, but like I feel like it's gonna be I, a trend now. I think like, it's smart as well. 
Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Just think like how much movies make already, and then with series, is my watch too loud? No, no. Okay. Uh, with series, like just think, um, how let's say okay, it's Avengers... pretty loud. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna keep going. Oh wait, it stopped. Never mind. Keep going. No, I, no, it's, it's gone now. It's just when I start talking. But like with Marvel and Avengers, they are like branching off into. You can sort of say like it's canon, I guess, but it's kind of it's like、mm. in. In their own universe, still. So,、uh, Falcon Winter Soldier is like after the events of Endgame, he becomes Cap. He that's the story of him becoming Captain America.、Uh, Wanda Vision, I don't actually know. And then Loki just came out, which is also like after Endgame, where he like escaped with、mm. the Tesseract at that time.、Uh, yeah, I think. Movies already make so much. Why not incorporate that into? No, sorry. Yeah, but like people are like following these series. Why not make it mainstream even more? Like release it in theaters as well. And I don't know if it makes. I'm not sure if it makes more money though. Like I don't know like how much anime movies make because most of them they're not that high. Hmm. Like I think against TV, right now at least for anime, it's just not as、uh, good. And also like streaming platforms. I、well. think it's just like the big ones will be the ones that get movies, like the really good anime. What will be great is like when they have、uh, like season finale. But instead of the season finale, it'll be like a movie. Hmm. Actually no, because the story could be like totally flipped, and there's no story. There's not much for a, a, a plot there because it's just continuing off the series. It's not like its own thing, right? Like if you're、yeah. gonna watch a movie on its own, then you kind of have to watch the series as well. Would you say it's the same when like watching Mugen Train? It's like, would it be its own thing if you didn't watch the series? I no, because Movie Train was canon. It continued right off. Yeah, yeah. They banked on the fact that so many fans have watched the series. That like,、mm. then again, maybe like all of Japan already watches so. <laughs> them.、Yeah. How much did that movie gross? A lot. Apparently, it was I, like I... domestic was three hundred or something. It did bits, man. It's like it's crazy. Ooh, getting there. What?、Mm. But a billion dollar movie. That would be amazing. Hmm. And I put so much money into it. I don't know what's what would be popular enough for that to happen. I don't think it's as big. Could you even spend a billion dollars on an on an anime movie? No, no, no. I mean. They make a billion. Oh, like that's why I think is like, like the goal or something. Like, yeah, like all the good movies watched to kind of like reach a billion. Not like、mm. all of them, of course. Yeah, but I think a billion is where it's like, yeah, it's it's engraved. It's there in like society, and it's, it's just、remember. a part of pop culture, I guess. Yeah. Because then again, Demon Slayer, although it might be popular here, I have no idea like how popular it is elsewhere.、Mm. I, I, said, I like, think、man. I preferred the series of Demon Slayer over the movie. Honestly,、oh, okay. I didn't. I honestly, I didn't like the movie that much. It was just,、uh, yeah, it's good. I think it's because the series animation is already so good. How could they like? Make it so that the movie's movie. animation is still good, but I feel like the series, just the the story of the series that was in the series, that was in the series,、uh, what the, f- that was in the series, whereas the story that was in the movie was kind of was was better because it was just the movie was kind of I don't know, lacking in that department. 
Yeah, I think it was in the manga, right? Probably, but like it's just kind of lacking. When I think of like train movies, I just think it's either a heist, cowboy flick, or maybe it's like a murder mystery. Hmm. Like I think the movie lost like why I like this series because it was kind of like it's kind of like just like okay you fight the demon and then that's it they didn't really give background on the demon at all and then yeah it's basically fight the demon more fight and that's it and yeah this well, is, you it, watched it because it was that simple before but I think it's like no because like, in the in the series there's like the story of like uh, his whole family died and then also when he was, when he would fight the demons he would get some of their the demons backgrounds. And like some of the demons' background stories were good, you know, like the spider mm-hmm. guy, or or actually all of them had their own backstory that was kind of that was good. Yeah, but then like the movie kind of just lost it. It was just kind of like fight the demon, beat the demon, and yeah, that's it. And I can't really say more because there's spoilers, but it's basically fight, and then something happens, and then yeah. It, but it didn't really like do much for the story i guess if that that makes sense okay i think what you're trying to go to is like at the end it's like this big baddie yeah yeah i just know because like one piece going back to one piece again it's just like the movies they made at the very end, it's like this giant ass guy. This is just gonna be an anime podcast. <laughs> We're just talking about anime the whole freaking. No, no. That's mine. <laughs> I mean, what have I. What? I, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this week was just Ragnarok and so One Piece came out. And I don't know, just nothing interesting in real life at the moment. I just want to hide. It's my cope. I can't. I can't really play anything. Why not? And I don't. You. You know already. <laughs> you. Can, you can play Genshin. You can. Ten minutes. I could. Ten minutes. I could. <laughs> but will I? Uh, <sighs> how long has it been then i don't know for me i can't tell it's over an hour for sure all right let me just see real quick <clears throat> an hour and 18 minutes and it's still like one and a half or something mm. not really not that long. my eye is still like pulsating Get some eye drops, sleep, go to sleep. I mean, it looks. I'm looking at the wrong eye. It looks fine. But. Go to sleep. I might need glasses, like actual. Soon. It's like sometimes when I look, look away from the screen, it gets everything gets fuzzy. And then I click, try to close one eye, then I can't read with that one eye, and I try reopening the other one, then it starts refocusing again. Hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe you should get checked. No way. But still, I will say that our eyesight is a lot better than we thought it was. Hmm. I mean, it could be bad. It's we like, never know. No, we never I mean, got checked. But uh, I'm pretty sure if you can read something from like far away, you're good. Hmm. And I took an eye test anyways, on my own. <laughs> Online, <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally works. It's not like, it's not, it's not like you're, trying, you're like a uh, pen needle, you have to like... Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Have you ever had to focus on something to read it, except unless it's like... Quite I feel like to... if you just like spend too much time on the screen, it will always be fuzzy afterwards. Because that always happens to me. I guess it's also... Yeah, yeah, I would, I would say... Especially like... if you're looking at a phone screen. If it's on the phone, 
It doesn't even have to be that long. What you can't really afterwards, your your vision will be fuzzy for like a few hours. I remember, like I just remember how much time we spent playing something, like maybe five years ago, to say Minecraft or something. Yeah, and then that was like <laughs> three to five hours. Now, now it's like my phone is eleven hours a day or something, and then I'm on this. It's pretty much over 16 hours because I barely get sleep as well. So my eyes are like always on a screen. Mm. I need to like read. <laughs> He's having an existential crisis right here. He's like, oh. He's realizing. I mean, I think right now for me, I'm taking, I'm definitely taking it for granted. I just don't. Like, now I'm feeling like, what if I do have to get glasses? Mm. I mean, I would look cool look with glasses, but I want to wear glasses, like, without proper lenses, because those are a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'd just rather be able to see normally, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of cons. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure of course there's there only is. cons, because, uh... <laughs> Yeah, the pros to having bad eyesight. The pros to having bad eyesight. No conscription! Cool. No. <laughs> you get to look cool in glasses, that's it. <laughs> uh, like, no prescription glasses are in fashion. Uh, People wear them just to look like they need glasses. It used to be a freaking nerd thing. Like, yeah. I just like pulled uh, Cloudy and Ted, like four eyes, four eyes. <laughs> you need glasses to see. It's like we're just laughing at a freaking cripple or handicap. <laughs> uh, back then, it's just how times have changed, how people have become more politically correct, I guess. Yeah. It's changed really quickly. Now that I, now that no, I think about it. No, it changed really quickly. I think it did. Like compared to back in the day, where people... No, were, but uh, back in the day, we weren't aware. No, like way back in the day, before we were bored, like it's probably way worse. Like actually bad. What do you mean? Like people... Like don't they just like... Everyone's offensive and, you know... Like way back then, people were more racist, more people are homophobic, stuff like that. This reminds me of like the Queen story, where like she said some things about like a certain group of people, or uh, like how she acted and stuff like that, like very questionable stuff. But to be fair, she is like an ancient fossil here we're talking about i'm not talking about queen of thailand i'm talking about yeah, the, yeah i know i know like she's i don't know how old she is there's <laughs> you reminded me of this meme where uh it's like when god created eden and then adam's like who's sat over there and then god said i don't know she got um she was here before i got here <laughs> <laughs> it was just like the photo of the queen. She is, she's old. She's like, I don't know how old she is, but if I'm talking about 1950s, 1940s, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a lot of things were different back then. But yeah. hey, I would say we're improving. There's progression. Maybe no, so. I'm, I'm just I say we're improving like a lot faster than we if we no, no, than yeah, were back then. Yeah. But then at some point it's like But sometimes yeah, it's too down, much. Slow down, slow down <laughs> a bit. We don't need to go that fast. And it's like <laughs> it's cool. Let me have a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. Let me clown on you sometimes, okay? <laughs> okay, don't be such a little baby sometimes. Yeah, uh, so, sometimes just make, just I just don't... Make fun of me, it's fine. Make fun of me, it's okay. Look at me. I'm a mess. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Asian. Third world in that. <laughs> I just know we're first again. I, I don't, I don't <laughs> Look at me, I created COVID.
You don't watch Chinese, Kula. Ching chong, ching ching. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I'm is messing that, around. Is that racist, Kula? <laughs> is that racist? <laughs> I think it, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. I it's just nah, it's think... a joke. It's a joke. No, I think. No, I think you could. Uh... Oh, I need to be very careful here. Like you can make fun of people, but I don't think. You... I think people are comparing to when. At the point where it's like there's a difference between making fun of someone and actually thinking you're higher, you're a higher being than that. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Like basically, like, like the stereotype where Asians have small dicks. Like, I think it maybe it's something. Yeah, like... it's kind of stereotypical, but then again, it's also. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something like along the lines of there's there's teasing and then there's bullying. Something like that, you know. Harassing, I guess. It's like it's like making fun of like a British accent. Like, oh, but but oh, what? <laughs> it's like I'm not belittling you. I just think like some of the words you say are funny. <laughs> and you yeah. can like make fun of like uh, how we say our accent as well. Like, uh, do we even have an accent? No, I mean imitate like Thai accent when like other Thai people think like. <laughs> Yeah, they think stereotypical Asian accent. Uh, oh, something wrong, man. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> well, we don't have the accent. That's it. Uh, yeah, we it's pronounce like, our funny. L's as R's. It's and... funny to pronounce, but I don't think like people. Yeah, I don't think we people... care. Well, I guess people think like, oh, I can speak better English than you. Like, yeah, cool. I guess. I mean, I, I don't know the line. Where's the line? It's like, not. We could definitely, okay. we could both be wrong here. But I just think for now that it's just playful fun, making fun. Maybe not. Don't don't mock them though. Mm. I guess there's like, uh, just find the line when talking with people. If they're okay with it, then go for it. But then. Uh, if they're not, then just try to be smart about what you say. That's it. Yep. Mm. Okay. Is it one hour and a half? It is one hour twenty-eight. Oh, we're gonna do our morals anyways. Yeah, it's long enough. Actually, we don't have morals. <laughs> anime no movies are our... good. <laughs> anime is um, good. Watch anime. The record of Ragnarok sucks, and then we talked about. The PC culture. No, Record, Record of Ragnarok doesn't suck. It's it's just disappointing. <laughs> yeah, just disappointing. What would you give it? Like one out of ten, one to ten. I would so, give it six. I'll also give it a six. It's like above average, but that's just because of the story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. You can set the outro. Okay, watch anime movies, watch um, Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name, or watch Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss, Made in... or something. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. <laughs> I guess. It's okay oh. to, be, to be offensive sometimes. If people are okay with it, then, be, then yeah. I mean, if the people around you are okay with it, then yeah, be a f- whatever. <laughs> Do yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I think that's it. All right. Links of ours will be in the description. And yeah, please don't cancel us. And we'll see you next week, hopefully, where we'll talk <laughs> about uh, it's not <laughs> anime. We'll right. see. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.